Hi everyone, so this video is a try on video. It's for some clothes that I purchased from Kmart and Target, mainly winter stuff, so they should still be available at the moment. Um, some mid season stuff as well. But I'll walk you through what I purchased, what the sizing is that I'm wearing, and how much it cost. And if you are interested, you can you know, check it out at your local stores. Um, so you'll see that there is a colour palette thing going on. I just like green. I've always liked green. I think it brings out my eyes and complements my skin tone. And it's just one of my favourite colours to wear. So you'll notice that. <laughs> I guess we'll get started with this top that I've got on. I actually ended up getting it in two colours. This is from Target. And this is the Linen Blend Blouse. I got it in the black and obviously the green. The size I'm wearing is a 14P. So that's a petite range. It's part of the Danny Minogue Petites from Target. The tag said $39, but they scanned at $45, but they ended up reducing it to $39. So I think they're actually going up in price, which that's a little cheeky and slightly annoying. <laughs> But with this top, so it's just a simple kind of casual, but like business casual kind of top. So the black, you can't really see much detail. That's why I thought I'd wear the green one to show you. So with the top, it's not the most flattering shape around here, but I don't necessarily like tops that grab around my midsection. I kind of like loose, flowy tops. There's a button at the base of each sleeve and it's a longer sleeve. So this is good for when the weather is starting to get cooler, which it is here now. And um, I also like the neckline. I'm not a huge fan of really deep V necklines. I just don't feel comfortable wearing them. So this is still at a nice uh, level where it doesn't show too much uh, for my level of comfort, I guess. So you can see it's sort of still, look, I, I could probably have sized down, but the issue I have with a lot of clothing is that I have larger upper arms. So if I size down, oh, and a, a larger bust line. So when I do size down to fit other areas of me, sometimes it's a bit too tight across the chest and it's really tight around the arm section. So this was still comfortable enough that I could still type have range of movement with my arms and actually do things with. Um, so that's why I thought, you know, this is fine. You could tuck it in if you wanted to, is just tuck in the top and fold it under. And then that would obviously, you know, show off a little bit more. Um, and you could completely tuck it in, but I just hate tucking in clothes, so I just generally don't do it. But I'm, I'm happy with the way that this fits. I really like the color too. And it's just something simple. I like the slightly puffy sleeve and that's the first thing that I purchased. So this is the next top. It is again from Target, part of the Danny Minogue Petites range. I'm five foot four for reference. Generally clothing at the moment it's all over the place. I'm anywhere between a size 12 to a size 16 Australian. Um, so gen like on average I guess it's a 14 Australian which is about a size 10 US sizing. Um, but yeah, so it's it's really split. This again, this is a size 14 Australian. Um, I could have sized down, but I kind of just liked the, the looser flowiness of it. This is a little bit different. On the sleeves, it's elastic instead of with the buttons. A longer sleeve length, but I like that you could keep it up. The other one you couldn't slide the sleeve up as, as much but being elastic you can so it can give it like a more bubble sleeve. We can have it down longer. I liked the, like this is called paisley print. <laughs> it's quite nice and again green. When green becomes an in colour I just get really excited because I love green clothing. Um, but yeah. So it's got a tie at the top and I'll come closer so you can see the detail. It's got a tie at the top here and the neckline has an almost ruffled look to it. It's slightly stretchy um, but not, not super stretchy. I probably wouldn't necessarily tie it up but you can. It's a bit, 
<laughs> I'm not sure that I like it like this. I would probably just wear it open. Again, it's not too deep of a V. Um, it's not showing too much, um, which I like. This one again, it's not a tight fitting, so there's no real darts or or anything like that. So it is looser, as you can see, like it's not super tight, um, but it's a looser fit. I like the length of this one where it hits, and that's what it looks like from the back. That's the second top. So the next purchase is a jumper or a sweater. It <laughs> depends on what you call it. Um, but these are a ribbed higher neck. It's almost like a mock neck. It's not uh, a turtleneck. Uh, it's that in-between length where you're very aware of the neckline. So I'll have to see how I go with it. I just really liked the colours that this came in. I actually picked it up in... A maroon which I'll try on next as well but the sleeves like most sleeves they are a little long but it's not so bad because it's got a little cuff so it sort of sits there this was $55 and it's a size 12 Australian and so I was back and forth between a size 14 and a size 12 I just kind of liked the length of the 12 even though it did fit a little more snug. I didn't mind it in this particular jumper. The 14 was actually quite a bit longer and I just liked the way that this one sat as well. So this is the size 12. What it looks like from the back. I'm still not <laughs> sure how to film these videos. It's a bit strange. I don't generally do try-ons but I thought it might be something different, something fun. So with the neck, you can fold it down, um, but I think you would need to sew it or pin it. So I'll show you here. It doesn't really stay folded, but if you put a few stitches, you could fold it into more of like a high kind of crew neck length. Um, but it's not so bad. It's not super tight around the neck, but if you don't like things around this part, uh, you're you're probably going to be aware of it and not like it so much but that is the green color and this is the deep red maroon kind of color or like the, the wine color so I like this one as well um, I think these deeper colors suit me better it's hard to tell how washed out it is with the light that I have I've got a bright light here just so you can actually see the clothes but I've always been interested in getting that, um, or just maybe doing it myself, those seasonal colour things. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be a winter colour and like blacks, emerald tones, uh, like jewel tones, deep jewel tones. They've just seemed to suit me the best. Uh, but this is the maroon colour. Again, you've still got some room. It's not completely fitted at the back. It's still a little loose around here, but it's got like a, a ribbed waistband which holds it in. You can fold that up, obviously, and then it gives it a different look again. So I would, depending on what I'm wearing on the bottom, either have it folded to have it a bit shorter, where it hits just above my hips. So my waist is about here, and my hips are sort of around this area. Uh, or down that little bit lower where it just tucks it in there. But that is the red one. Again, this was a size 12, $55 Target. And the last purchase from Target was this jumper. I kind of saw this on my way to check out. It's from their preview range. Um, so it's not part of the Danny Minogue Petites range, just part of their standard line. This was $35 and it's a size medium. Uh, again, emerald green, I really liked it. I wasn't sure about the sleeves. So with the sleeves, they're very interesting. They've got this tighter section that starts around the elbows and it's ribbed in a vertical pattern, whereas, uh, and it's quite tight. Then the other sleeve from the elbow up, it's still vertically ribbed, but it's sort of looser and a bit more flowy. 
and I wasn't sure how I'd go with it. It's a similar um, to the body. There's that waistband here where it's all horizontal, but it kind of gets a little tighter from the hip area or like the like a dropped waist kind of area. And I'll step back and I'll show you what I mean. But I think it looks all right. I think it's okay. Um, it's you can't really slide it up very much uh, because it is quite tight not uncomfortably tight though there is still room so you can obviously it's still stretchy but you can move it around a little bit to kind of adjust the way that it fits so because down here is a little tighter you could pop it up higher and have it so this looser bit goes over the top or you could pull it all the way down if you wanted. Sometimes I find when I pull it down, it tends to grab in my stomach area when it's like tucked below <laughs> that area. But this one, it just seems to fit quite nicely. Um, that's the back. It's more of a slouchy fit. And um, I mean, I like it. I like the neckline on this one. I kind of feel more comfortable with this kind of a neckline. Uh, I like something that's a round neck but not like super scoopy and nothing that's too wide because I've got quite narrow shoulders. Uh, anything a bit wider, it just tends to slip off and I'm not very comfortable with it. But this one, yeah, I kind of like the way that it fits. I'm not sure how it looks on camera because it kind of looks like I've got some wings. <laughs> but it doesn't look that bad <laughs> uh, in real life. I quite like the way that it fits and it's just really comfortable. And um, yeah, that's the last thing that I got from Target. The next is a jumper from Kmart and I couldn't help myself. It's chenille. So if you're you know, somebody who's born in the 80s and 90s, you'll probably be very familiar with this material. I love it. <laughs> it was all over the place in my you know, early teens and I just, I'm a sucker for chenille. It's so soft. Um, you have to be careful because sometimes it washes terribly depending on uh, the brand but I don't care I love it it's soft it's comfortable this particular one is again Kmart it's a size 16 and it was $22 um, I could have gone for a 14 but it's actually quite cropped well it's not cropped but it's it's very short compared to my other jumpers so you'll see when I turn on the side see how it comes out around here so my belly button is there and my waistband sits there so it just skims just under where my belly button is and um, for me I consider that probably on the shorter side of what I'd like so when I sized down even though the sleeves were a better fit <clears throat> sorry I'm losing my voice a little bit as well but and um, it was a bit more fitted and it was too short so I sized up because I wanted to be cozy and comfortable um, so that's that jumper but I, I love it the next is a jumper and I'll take the tag off <laughs> so it's a size 12 it's a jumper it's a thinner jumper uh, this is $13 they've got these in a lot of different colors it's kind of like their basic jumper it is thinner and the sleeves are ridiculously long, but I've got really short arms. So if you've got longer arms, that's probably a good thing. Um, but yeah, this one, there's a little slit on the side. Again, there is still a bit of room in this. So it's not super tight, but it's tight enough that um, I feel comfortable wearing it still. You can see it kind of sits in a little more than the others do. That's it from the back. And from the front. So yeah, I, I like the way that this one sits. Again, green, when I saw they came out with a green one, I was overjoyed, really liked it. And next, I'll show a jacket that I that I got. I saw this jacket originally, I think they've got it in a grey and a black. I have something similar in a grey that I think I bought from them a few years ago. This is a size 14. Um, again, I probably could have sized with a 12, but I wanted to wear this over the top of other things. So just to give it a little bit more room. 
It's um, one of the Codigans, so like a cardigan coat thing. It's $40. I'm not sure if I said this one was $13, so it's a lot more affordable. It's part of their standard, you know, basics range. This is in Dark Forest, again, green. Love it. It's so, so super soft and so comfortable. There's some buttons on the sleeve, but I'll show you. So it's kind of like a, a semi-trench sort of pattern. I probably, I wouldn't really necessarily wear these together, but they are a pretty, pretty close match. Um, so I probably should have changed to have a bit more contrast with the top, but I'm not a professional fashion blogger, whatever. So <laughs> this is the best I can do. So it is, um, where does it hit? Just at my lower calf, but again, I'm five foot four, so I'm not a tall person. Uh, if you were taller, it would probably sit around knee length, uh, or between the knee and the calf. So this is what it looks like. I love it. Again, the sleeves are ridiculously long on me. You've got some detailing with the little tie there. You could fold the sleeves back. Um, but because of the type of material, you can just scrunch the sleeve up and then it's not so long. It's got an oversized collar and it has a belt as well. So the belt on me sits just above my hips, um, but you can tie it up wherever you want. Um, so you could have it up a little higher as well. Um, I'm still not sure the best way on how to tie this without it making it without it um, making it look sort of like a dressing gown um, but uh, sometimes I'll tie it in the back and just have it open like this I don't yeah so there's pockets wasn't sure if there was but there's pockets which is good pockets are always fun um, but that's the coatigan in the green really like that that's what it looks like from the back side, the other side, if you were to do it up, just super comfortable and still quite affordable really compared to some other things. So the next things are some leggings. So these are the yoga cropped leggings. On me they're more like a 7 8 kind of legging but again a bit short. These are a size 14 and they were $17. So they say that they're uh, squat proof. They're not very squat proof, but I'll get to that. Uh, four way stretch and high rise. So they are quite high rise. They come to pretty much just, that's my waist there, just above the true waistline. If you can see that there. Um, so that up. So as far as the length goes, yeah you can tell they're, they're more like a 7 8 length on me, but that's what they look like. They say that they're squat proof, but they're not. Particularly if you, if you get true to size, uh, they're, they're quite thin. They're very comfortable though and the reason I got them was when I'm just going for walks in the neighborhood or hanging around at home I really like to have pockets so I can have my phone with me if I'm outside for example doing gardening, mowing the lawn, just hanging out and just I wanted something comfortable but also something that I could then wear out if I needed to pop down to the grocery store or head out for something. So this is fine for both but I wouldn't say squat proof if you're in public and you don't have nude coloured underwear on. So they do have pockets. I liked these ones um, because they had really decent sized pockets. So phone, this is a Samsung, what is it a 21 something? And that completely fits in there. No problems at all. So that's another reason why I really like these leggings. They are really buttery soft. They're very nice. 
um, as far as that goes. And I think they're somewhat fluttering, like they're, they're not bad. So they fit quite all right. They are slightly tight. There is a little bit of compression in this top section here, but it's not uncomfortable. It is just a really thick waistband, which I don't mind. Um, so hopefully over time it doesn't loosen too much, but there's not really, there might be a thin elastic at the top, but there's not a big elastic in this section here. But that is the, the leggings from Kmart. And the last piece of clothing, there's an accessory which I'll show you in a second, which kind of ties into this, was a dress from Kmart. So this is a size 12 and it was $35. Again, forest green, really, really like it. The sleeves are sheerer than the actual body. Now this one, it's probably larger sizing wise, but I looked at the pictures online as well after I bought this, and I think it's meant to be a larger, looser fit. So I originally had a size 14, and it was okay, but it just looked really, really boxy here, and it had no shape. So I went down to the size 12, which is what this one is, and it fits all right, but I think it would look better with some kind of a belt. It's still loose enough that it doesn't look like it's meant to have shape, but does it? I think it is just meant to be this kind of whimsical, flowy look. So on me, it's a full length dress. Um, it comes up just above, like around the ankle area, which you can see, but it doesn't have a lot of shape in this section. This midsection here, it's quite a boxy fit. Uh, if it had like a draw, like a string like this attached to the sides, perhaps, that way it might be able to, you know, pull it in to give it a bit more shape. And, you know, if you're somebody who knows what you're doing, you might be able to do that. That could be something that would work and make it look really nice. But uh, it almost looks like it or should have some darts just in this section here, just so it fits. A little bit better however I'm not normally a belt person but I thought I would give a few belts a go and I haven't actually put a belt with this yet I think if you had a slightly thicker stretchy belt it might work but I thought I'd give it a go so these are two belts from Kmart uh, I got them in the medium size and it was eight dollars for the set I'm not sure what I'm doing I don't really do belts, but I think this is one of the dresses where it would kind of call for a belt. This thing doesn't slide. It's like the belt needs to be shorter. What do you do with this bit of a belt? Like normally there's a there's a thing on it, isn't there, that holds it down? That's stuck here where it moves, but what do you tuck it in or do you just let it flap around? Maybe I should have sized down on the belt so there wasn't as much. So that's the second last hole on the belt. I could do it a little bit tighter, but I still wouldn't be able to sit down and move in this. But that kind of gives it a bit more shape, I think, as well. So, I mean, for the price, dresses like this at Target were going for like $60, $70, whereas this was $35. I think that's, that's like, again, it's green, it's whimsical. In my mind, I had those Instagrammers that have these nice flowy dresses and they're kind of running. And uh, what's that that song? It's like, and it's over, and it's all in my head. You know, those, those types of things. And they're just running and they're like frolicking with their dresses on through the fields and all sorts of, like, that's the imagery that this dress conjured up for me, but I don't think that's, that's, that's not me, but... It could be with this dress. <laughs> so, I mean, I like it. It's something different and it's actually not, I think the belt helps. What do you think, belt? Would you try a different belt? I did get another belt in brown. Would you do brown? That kind of looks a little medieval, doesn't it? Like the green and the brown, but the black? Let me know your thoughts. Um, but 
Actually, there's one more thing. I went to a thrift store, Lifeline, and I found a dress, which I like, but there's an issue with it. And I'll ask, maybe you can help me fix it. So we'll see. But yeah, that's the last thing from Kmart. And I like it, but definitely size down if you want it to be a bit more fitted. There's plenty of room in the arms if you're like me and have slightly bigger upper arms. Uh, so the armhole is fine. It's comfortable. But yeah, I think a belt is the way to go. Yeah, I like it. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so this is my thrift store find. It is the brand's Liz Jordan. I'm not sure who that is. I haven't looked it up or anything, but I liked the material. And um, that's what I look for when I go thrift store shopping, like woolen skirts, woven kind of things, just stuff that's going to be different and that you can't really find very easily. But this is a size 12. I think it was $18, which I don't mind. I didn't get to try it on. I tried it on when I got home. I'm like, oh, it kind of actually fits. So that was a pleasant surprise. It is quite tight, but there is a bit of stretch in it still. But we'll see. I'm not sure how I feel if it accentuates too much, but I think it's okay. That's what it looks like. That's from the back. So there's a little bit here, which is a bit strange. Not sure what that is, but if I pull that down. Kind of, it does grab a little in that area. The issue that I have, and again, like I've been saying throughout this whole thing, is the, the armholes. It's quite tight, and I don't know if there's a way to fix that. Because otherwise, I do actually quite like the dress. Um, but it's just, it's a bit tight around my arms. It doesn't look it, but it is a little tight. So, is there any way to fix that? Is it something that can be altered? Let me know. I've, I'm new to that. I don't really, don't really know. Don't really have any idea. But that's my thrift store dress find. I quite like it. I think it looks okay. Happy with that. I'll show you the material up close though. This is what it looks like. So. It's kind of like this stretchy woven pattern. No idea what it is, but I like it. And I like the way that it hangs. It's kind of like a heavier, sorry, it's a heavier kind of material. But yeah, that's the last thing. That's everything. Had a little extra. I thought I'd show that to you and ask for your help of like, it's a little, like it's okay. It's just a little tight around here. So if I'm standing up and not doing anything, it's okay. But yeah, otherwise it's a little, little tight. But yeah, that's it. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I hope this was enjoyable. <laughs> I'm still a little awkward with try-ons, but um, I hope it helps. Hope you find it fun, even if it's just something that you're listening to. But yeah, that's it for me for now. Hope you're all having a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it may be, wherever you are. And I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now. See ya.